Hello, guys. This is Madhu from Adiyogi Ayurveda. Welcome to my podcast. I am a certified Ayurveda lifestyle consultant, Vedic counselor, quantum healing hypnosis practitioner, clinical master herbalist, Usui Reiki practitioner, animal Reiki practitioner, and a spiritual coach. As a holistic practitioner, I concentrate on mind, body, and spirit healing using energy healing, herbal remedies, and Vedic sciences. Come check out my website at adiyogiayurveda.com. I put the link down below in the description. And let's get started. Hello, hello, hello. This is Madhu from Adiyogi Ayurveda. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about the benefits of getting a QHHT session. For those of you who don't know what a QHHT session is, it is called it is a quantum healing hypnosis technique, which is a type of hypnosis technique that goes into the deepest level which is called the sonambulistic state uh, to go into past lives that that contain core wounds that you carry and affect the life that you're living right now so in order to heal the karma and the wounds that you carry during a QHHG session we go into not we literally it's just led by your higher self your higher self will take you direct you towards a lifetime that has a deep wound or a core issue that needs to be resolved that is affecting the current life and then we explore it to find out like the reasons behind your fears for example if you have a fear or a phobia um, and that is affecting your life right now you know your higher self would, would find that lifetime that maybe you like for example if you are scared of water maybe you drowned in a lifetime you know something like that like if you're scared of small spaces maybe like if you got nailed into a coffin while you were alive or like you know there are things that have that happen that happen to people that brings deep fears within them sometimes and then certain aspects would be emotional issues that your reactions to certain things that you don't even understand like i don't know maybe like aversion to a certain type of food but you've never had a bad situation with that in this lifetime something like that you know so there's so many different stuff that that is explored and the crazy part is each and every person's QHHT session becomes so uniquely different because the reasons are different, the way it's done is different. For some people, they don't even go into past lives. They go into a situation in this lifetime. Some people go into a past life which is like really like old in the sense like that you know it's it's somewhere else in the galaxy or some people go into like lifetimes in different planets it depends you know it depends on your need for for most people it's like you know earthly type of lifetimes where for some people there are things that they're looking for their there are answers that they are looking for that are not contained in this life like lifetimes on earth so it, it depends on the purpose and what is what are the core issues that are affecting you right now that does not allow you to move forward into like the next level or next step in your life because ultimately we come into this lifetime with goals 
to achieve, lessons to learn, goals to achieve, karma to even out. So based on these things, we pick our you know birth time, um, the natal chart basically, which helps us achieve that because that gives us the personality, the type of body um, to help with those things that we are trying to achieve. So with that being said, the how a QHHD session can help is uh, number one. It will help you to understand where your fears, your phobias are coming from. Um, so uh, most of the time, these are related to specific events or experiences that you've had in this life or past lives. So going into that trauma event and exploring that, will help understand the situation better and for the the soul the body to understand that it was from a different lifetime so you can bring the healing so most of the time during my sessions um the, if there is any trauma during that lifetime itself when we're there the person cries or like you know just it just expresses their feelings while they're crying sometimes or just say you know i could i i feel so bad because i couldn't do this or i feel so sad i feel disappointed so they express themselves so that brings a lot of healing because these are the things that this person couldn't express at that time at the time of the event or whatever happened at that time so now that they're back there they're able to kind of amend that situation or heal by expressing themselves so that really that brings a lot of healing and relief to the person especially when you're in that um, hypnosis state it becomes easier to honestly express the true feelings uh, so that is one of the things and then then it gives clarity also upon the the reasons why this this person might be having a f like the fear of water and i've noticed that like a lot of um light workers have this fear of water i think because of that um the flood in atlantis the destruction of atlantis that played a huge role so even i had this huge fear of water and when the tsunami in 2006 happened in Sri Lanka, I wasn't there, but when I heard about it and I saw it, I had nightmares for days. And I used to always have these nightmares where I'm like, like the seawater would come to the surface and I drown. That's one of the, like not to the surface, but like to the land. <laughs> and I see like drowning dreams. And then I finally overcame the fear of water in, I think, in 2016. But, like, before that, I couldn't even go to the, like, the water in the ocean without holding someone's hand. So that was bad. So things like that, like, you understand where these things are coming from. You know, um, people have fear of animals because maybe they were attacked by animals in a past life or there are so many things so many things people have so many different types of fears because it symbolizes something that happened that is traumatic so the next one is um how a qhhd session can help you is it helps you bring out suppressed emotions so a lot of people have these suppressed emotions and it it feels normal but it's actually not normal to hold so much your heart space has to be free so uh, like after the session when we like dig out all these suppressed emotions and release them people are surprised because they just didn't even know that these things are there we carry a lot of baggage especially in the heart area because we live in a in a society in a 
place in a in a planet which is dualistic um there's good and bad there's light and dark and mainly dark that we're trying to chase out and now it's becoming more and more light but because it was in the dark for the last um a few thousands you know a couple of thousands of years i guess the most darkest but yeah a few thousands of years it has come to a point where that trauma is passed down and learned and it comes through dna even before we're like you know it's like before we even start living we we inherit that so we have to heal those aspects we have to heal and repair the dna so when we release these suppressed emotions we heal those aspects that we carry as a human race to bring more light into our body and to feel more free to feel more like how we are supposed to feel like as humans so that's another thing another cool thing is that you actually get to explore how past lives were like the history and it is the most fascinating each and every lifetime that we go into with our clients it just becomes so fascinating because it's it's like the it's like yeah we see movies but this is like literally experiencing the true state of being and it is amazing and it's like it's like we all have had these lifetimes in so many different cultures so many different countries and just because we are born into a certain country right now doesn't mean that we haven't experienced the other cultures and to know that and learn that and to know that you know just because we are so diverse doesn't mean that at a soul level we are diverse we're all like one you know it kind of gives you that it gives you that that perspective to understand that there's no separation there's no division there's like you could be like i could, i'm I was born in sri lanka in this lifetime but many other lifetimes i was born in so many different countries i relate to so many different cultures so it doesn't limit me from and it doesn't limit me and and that's one of the most beautiful things i think we can learn because now everything is so everything has to be politically correct or there's so much of um <clears throat> separation emphasized with the racism the prejudice that's going on so when you go into these lifetimes you're probably like wow you know i was i was in this culture that culture we have to explore all the different things to learn right so it it's it becomes so interesting to learn that wow people in that lifetime actually did this or like different planets different areas of the universe it's it's just so fascinating and like i think that's that's really cool and it's very interesting because you really understand how people used to live back in the day also and one of the most common thing that that i have learned through qhhd sessions is that back in the day people had more time and more peace the sen- that there's a sense of peace there's a sense of contentment because through these different lifetimes we find out that people do people did not do people did things that make them happy and in a way happiness was going out into the nature going and exploring you know finding things just just making like they they grow their food they have they have enough they don't try to have more and more and hoard a lot 
they just go out children and when they just go out it's safe for them that's the craziest part like it's like amazing you know now you can't send your child to <laughs> like anywhere without being scared but at the time the children just would go out and explore all day and, and you know they it's just it's just such a different lifetime i mean it's just like the modern life is so different from the past lives there's so much of contentment because that the factor like like the factors uh, that that makes life stressful are not there like greed human greed um like looking for power or trying to hoard more and more things because you know the hoarding kind of comes from like that lack mentality um and then like you're responsible for your own happiness back in the day everyone was aware of it and so they weren't looking for those external factors to entertain them or make them happy so that's a that's another interesting thing about um going into like different times in history another benefit i would say would be to see how the relationships between the people in your life right now how they affect you and how they came about um and this is relating to karma so the during QHHG sessions one of the most beneficial things is you get to learn where the karmic cycles are coming from I remember um, that from a past, like from one of my past lives, it's like um, like people who are in my life right now, some of them are actually friendly and some of them are actually people who I have bad karma with in my family. So they would have been like people... I would have interacted through work or people who persecuted me in past lives so and some of the people are actually like really endearing people who are my you know who are who I have good karma with so it's very fascinating to learn these things and and understand how to break these cycles it's it's like the same people who are affecting your life right now are the same people who might have affected your life in a past lifetime and you're trying to smooth out the karma but the but the same type of events are happening for example someone if you have someone who is like narcissistic towards you or treats you bad then this is it's like that habit that person has acquired from that past life they're just repeating out of habit so it's up to you to stand up for yourself and to become empowered and say no i will not take that anymore and then those people the like the those patterns break off and the lessons are learned and you both just separate and go your own way so you understand and like it's it's i think it's one of the most common issues people have the relationships that they have with their lovers their friends their family and some of these relationships you just don't understand because you know it's like it's like that familiarity that pulls you towards them because of the past lives but because they're your family their friends or romantic partners you just don't understand why they're treating you this way so when we go into those past lives you understand like oh i've had this type of relationship with this person in the past life where they did this to me or i did this to them oh so now i understand why they're reacting this way and like overreacting in certain situations i guess that's coming from that you know something like that so and during a QHHD session we're able to kind of heal or resolve and like learn the lesson you can learn the lesson so you can move on and move past that cycle 
so that's another advantage i think the biggest is the release of this pain and this emotional patterns that we're used to it really 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 helps to understand most of the time we go through life without understanding certain aspects and we come to a point where we're like okay well it is what it is and we're just gonna accept it but then deep down inside we're still confused you know it helps to have clarity and i think a lot of these qhht sessions bring a much much emotional healing and clarity to situations so that it gives you this kind of um i can't say validation but it gives you a kind of that kind of sense of direction and tells you yeah i think you were what you were planning to do would be the most correct you know because i know we're like society like social conditioning plays a big factor social conditioning tells us that this is the right thing to do this is the wrong thing to do whereas in our unique karmic situation we sometimes have to do the wrong thing <laughs> that like that is through social conditioning what we know as the wrong thing that might be what we have to do to break this pattern you know because that according to the bigger picture that's how you learn the lesson so there's that you know is it ethical is it moral or you know like oh if you you can't just stop talking to a friend all of a sudden or you know something like that like or or this person did this to me but they have done so much of these good things to me it's not right to let go of them or you know different things like that or like this is my sister you know we are sisters so i can't do this to her like i can't tell her uh, to stop talking bad about me that's what sisters do you know things like that like you uh, all that conditioned ideas are in the way so qhsg sessions have like will help you to break out of these limitations that's another thing so yeah that's what i wanted to share with you guys how beneficial it is and how how much it helps people i know a lot of people are getting curious about how these qhht sessions work and what they do and to be honest a lot of people come with it's it's very common to have emotional issues um that are linked to certain situations or people and health issues the physical body um the physical body issues is i think it would be another benefit i would say because whatever issue that we have in the physical body as a health issue or a pain or something like that is an indication of something that needs to be worked on or it could be like a karmic imprint from a past life but most of the time it's the lesson it's just it's an indication of something that you need to learn the moment you realize it that issue would go away okay so sometimes like okay you you don't like a certain part of your body you're not comfortable with it but the lesson is to learn how to love yourself you know um if you have something like a leg issue you know it's like you're not moving in the direction that you want to you're not going in the direction that you want to if you have like um thyroid issues that's very common you that they were not able to speak up as children um they were silenced so they feel like what they want to say is not you know it's not going to be valued or they can't speak up so um you know things like that things like if you have like shoulder issues or like you're like you're kind of like stooping down you have too many responsibilities 
you feel like you have too many responsibilities so it's time to figure out and prioritize and you know put put yourself first things like that you know so all these issues will will be linked to a situation or a lesson that you need to learn so that is also another thing those it's very interesting how the body gives you messages on what to change and what you know what you need to learn about and realize sometimes there are the most simplistic things like learning to love yourself learning to accept yourself it sounds very simple but it's hard at the same time so yeah so those are the things those are the Well, I would say benefits of getting a QHHD session and if you're curious a QHHD session would take up probably around like 45 hours what I do is I do it over two days most people pick that because that way they are able to allocate the time so the first day would be like we go through your life story we kind of uh, you know get no I, I get notes on what could be possible uh, karmic patterns and the current things that we should focus on health issues and things like that and then the next day and this one this interview would be like maybe an hour hour and a half like it's as long as you like it's up to you because you know it's like whatever you want to speak about what is important we go through that and then the hypnosis part is usually two hours could be two and a half hours so the hypnosis is where we go into the past life and then we speak to your higher self and if you have any questions we ask your higher self all these questions and then you usually the higher self explains like the the past lives why they took you there and then we go through like the whole body healing and you know remove any entities any energies cut cords and bring like emotional healing we go through like i go through the all the chakras and the entire body section by section to see what needs to be removed and removal of implants is also another one and this is and it's not going to be just your higher self we call upon like the beings of light who's going to help you and being and my guides and beings of light who comes to help me with my healing sessions they all come to do different aspects so some you know some will help you with the trauma uh, some will help you removing implants some will help you cutting cords so it, it depends on what is there so they indicate whatever is there and then bring healing and then they will give you guidelines as to like you know um, maybe the questions like yo should i go, go do a different job or do this okay um things like that you know just guidelines on your next moves or like any advice on whatever you need advice on things like that and then most of my clients are twin flames so for the twin flames they're usually taken to one lifetime where there's like something that needs to be healed and another lifetime that is with their twin flame that is that is so common like it's one lifetime that you actually were together and you were happy at least you you can feel the love that you have the connection that you have in between and you you know how it actually feels to be in love unconditionally so that's i think that's a very sweet <laughs> thing because it's it's very very um emotional for them you know because it's very uh, unconditional love is hard to fathom until you feel it so that's a cool aspect so yeah i think that's about it those are the things that i wanted to share with you guys and give you a kind of idea of give you an idea of how a qhht session works and the benefits 
it brings you. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. Please do check out the services on my website at adiyogiayurveda.com. If you have any questions, email me at adiyogiayurveda at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. This is Madhu from Adi Yogi Ayurveda. I'll talk to you next time.